Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creation. Today I will show you three farmhouse signs. Fall inspired, mind you, because this video is part of a challenge, falling into fall DIY challenge. And I am so excited to um, co-host this challenge. And it is hosted by Shoshana over at Regal Designs by Shoshana. If you're not familiar with her channel yet, please jump on over after, right after this video and check out what she has to offer. Beautiful, beautiful decor, inspirations, DIYs. You will not be disappointed. I leave links in the description box below to Shoshana's channel and also to the playlist of this challenge so you can watch all the other fall inspired creations. So let's get DIYing. Fall sign number one. I have this old cutting board. It looks like a piece of meat or something. And I'm sanding it off. And uh, I ended up using my electric sander as well because there was a lot to sand off. But it uh, turned out beautiful in the end. And I have this wooden bird who has a hanger in the back that I'm taking off because I don't need it. And for me, a swallow represents fall, the migration of all the birds. Then I have these letters. It says Liv i dag. It's Swedish for live today. But I will cut them apart and use L-I-V-E to spell out live. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, decorating, thrifting, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative. Please join me. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. Now I'm touching up the letters with a white acrylic and after that's dried I will be dry brushing them with a black acrylic to distress them yet again but a controlled distressing. Mr. Swallow gets some distressing as well but with a white acrylic. Now I'm taking some jute twine and wrapping it around the neck of the cutting board using just some wood glue to keep it in place. And I will make a hanging of the same jute twine as well. Now I'm attaching the swallow using some wood glue. The letters go down also uh, with some hot glue and uh, some wood glue. And here is how it turned out, hanging in my kitchen. And I added the word every day to it. So it says live every day. Full sign number two. Have another cutting board, a more modern version of it. And I'm not so a fan of this um, bright uh, nautical rope, but I could not take it off, so I have to work 
with it. Then I have these short plastic tubes, three of them, that I will use in my creation. I'm starting out by hot gluing the cork to the bottom of the tubes and then cover them up with some mute twine, hot gluing it into place and um, that will make the tubes appear a little longer. So that's my intention. And I also put some jute twine on the top of the tube and incorporating a hanging out of jute twine as well. They will look like this, all three of them. And now it's time for the end parts of the nautical rope there. I need to get that off because I don't like it. So I'm taking a hand saw and fire away and doing all I can to take it off bit by bit. Then the last bit I'm sanding off and it goes well. Now it's time for dry brushing. I'm using a white acrylic and a touch of black acrylic as well. And I'm just brushing and brushing until I am happy with the result. Now it's time for the nautical rope to disappear and I'm wrapping it with ute twine. And that goes well together with the tubes. On the top part I have screwed in some hooks where I will place my tubes and on the bottom part I am painting some letters and uh, it will say life is beautiful. And here it is all dressed up with some fall greenery, some wine leaves. Turned out beautiful with the ute wine and the wording. Fall sign number three. I have this old pie form in the metal, beautiful texture on it. Uh, looks a little bit dirty. I will clean it up and then spray paint it in a black matte color. I have printed out a wording that I'm tracing now onto the pie form and on the back of uh, the piece of paper I have put some chalk to get a good trace. Now I'm painting the letters with a copper colour, acrylic. And um, I ended up uh, not particularly liking it because it was not the right color to connect with the coins, the copper coins that I had there around the pie form. So I'm ending up changing that as you will see. Hot gluing all the coins into place. And 
And now I'm highlighting the letters first with the white acrylic paint, but I'm ending up cover them completely with this white color. Now it's time to put some fall inspired greenery into place in the corner of the pie form and um, uh, I'm not going overboard with the fall decorations not just yet but a little touch of it have the wine leaves in the beautiful fall colors and some pine cones And here it is in my kitchen and it goes so well together with the, with the brick wall there. Bon appétit. The copper against the black and I'm so happy that I changed the, the lettering to the white paint. Fits so much better and the greenery. And now to bonus fall sign. I could not resist, remember this cutting board and the back of it there with a tile. Had to do something about that, so I spray painted the tile in a cup of color. Then I took this lovely picture, black and white, and it's actually from Ikea. And I glued that onto the center of the tile. So you can just easily take the tubes off of this cutting board, this side, and then you simply turn it around and you get a new sign. And I also painted some wording on this one it says love going down the loving cutlery there embracing love at first bite and that side I dry brushed a little heavier with the black what did you think? Did you have a favorite of my signs? Leave me a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye.